work this morning. We are at Pacemaker Steel. And these guys are working today because a truck brought them some steel. So we started out with that. The truck's parked. They wouldn't have shit to do. They just hang in here trying to stay busy. Just keep trucking, y'all. Anyway, on to my, my video. We're at Pacemaker Steel in Utica. Um, Pacemaker Steel was originally um, Charles Miller and Son Company. Since 1850, that's 170 years they've been doing this very thing. Steel supply out of this very spot. 1850. How cool. And the old building is right across the street. Uh, they're just the I beams and channel go over here. They got pipe and tubing over there. Uh, it's a really cool place to be. If anybody knows me, I like old things. Old buildings, old cars, old guitars, old trucks. I like old. Uh, so while they're doing that, we're gonna walk over and take a look at this old building. I haven't spoke to anybody. I hope I don't get in trouble. But it's just really cool. So. Before we do this, rain it out. So there's big wooden windows all down the front of this building. It's to however many stories high. Big wooden doors. So this street out here used to be a canal. The Erie Canal runs right behind it. And then a canal ran across the front here. And then a little cobblestone street. And uh, they could boats in and out, front and back. The rail ran through the back also. And the old structure is still back there. I went around and looked at that. And they could unload train cars, load train cars out there. And uh, those wooden doors that you're going to see up in front of this building would open. They had an old crane system with block and tackle. They could actually um, unload horse-drawn carriages, buggies of steel, and take it up and put it in the building. Take it out of the building and load the buggies down on the street. Uh, old school trucking. Uh, your cat was replaced with a horse. That's old, buddy. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been around a long time. Still, still trucking up the steel with uh, horse and buggies. Uh, so they, the building's really cool. Uh, the old service elevator, wooden service elevator, still has wooden floors. And in some spots, they actually run the forklift on it because it's built that good. Uh, some of the old square beams, wooden beams, square wooden beams hold the thing up. Uh, we'll look at those. Those are just an amazing old building. I just dig that shit, so I'm going to share it. We're going to walk over here and look at it. Let's go check it out. So there's the old building. So imagine once upon a time, Horse and buggies were all up and down this side with loads of steel dropping it off or picking it up instead of trucks. And on that side, like where the pickup is, would have been a, a canal. Part of the Erie Canal. Things have changed a lot. But, um, I wonder if that old bell used to ding at lunchtime. Here are the old wooden doors all the way up. And they would load stuff in and out of them. So, it's a pretty cool place. And this stone walkway here. those big wooden wooden cut beams the columns holding the place up how cool wooden floor still in it
We're just being nosy now. Check that out. How cool. There's the wooden service elevator. Otis Elevator Company. Looks original. Jeez, how cool. More storage. So, just a small tour. I hope my footage was decent. I couldn't see it from my side. I just had the camera turned around. One day I'll get good at this. But um, I want to share some of this. I love these cool old structures. History of some of the places I go to, so. Steel plant, steel company. Been around since 1850, 170 years old. They're still doing it. So, that's it for me. We're gonna get. Today's a blessing that I have a load. I'm not going to complain. I'm working. Hope everybody else is and those that you aren't. I'm praying for you. Best of luck, man. Hopefully this ends soon. Everybody hang in there. We're going to keep trucking it up. Truck it up, y'all.